In this edition, we're talking about shaking up the world of drilling pushing the boundaries of exploration, and at the same time reducing risk and cost with Sensor CEO Richard Taylor. Sensor has developed a disruptive mining technology that combines AI and machine learning to identify and confirm mineral deposits. Joining me from Melbourne, Australia, is Richard Taylor. Richard, welcome. Thank you. Pleasure to be okay. here. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm really keen to learn more about your methods, your technology, and your results. Where do we start and how do we give people a sense of what it is that you're doing that is shaking up the world of mining? Well, one of the biggest things we're doing is taking the advantages of um, artificial intelligence and implying that uh, for one of the first times to the exploration um, problem. And the exploration problem that we have is that uh, the world needs more battery and critical minerals to be able to meet the energy transition that we know the world is, is going through at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, exploration rate rates have been falling um, over time for copper, nickel, uh, many of the key um, commodities that we, we need. And we need a new way of doing things, a new toolbox for exploration that opens up um, areas that we haven't been able to explore for before. And that's where AI comes in. Um, we're focused on being able to open up uh, targets undercover, being able to predict um, geology and geochemistry in areas that we haven't been able to access before. Um, two thirds of the Australian continent is, is undercover under transported sands and sediments. We know more about um, what is on the moon uh, than we do about what is underneath um, our own continent and our own area. Um, so it's a, a pretty interesting um, time for us to be taking AI and being able to apply that to these challenges. How do you do that? How do you start to see beyond the surface of the earth? I know that if we go back and take a look at some of the airborne surveillance that has been used at times, it can give sort of uh, magnetic uh, readings, but you're saying we're going way beyond that. So how do you take current understanding and then apply that to AI and machine learning to be able to identify mineral resources? Well, geophysics is obviously a key part of our system. Um, but we, I guess we take the knowledge that we have from geology and we use aspects of artificial intelligence about natural language recognition. We train the computer to be a geologist, to, re to read maps, to be able to read reports, to be able to extract the relevant information um, in that area. We, we pair up that with some of the biggest um, geochemistry sur surface soil um, samples and drilling databases across the continent. And that gives us a really good idea about what's sticking out of the ground, the, the paths and areas that we've looked at before. But then we use that information to push that knowledge undercover. Um, you can imagine the most valuable information um, is not something that's in the middle of nowhere that no one's gone for before. It's in that near mine environment where it's gone undercover. We haven't been able to explore effectively. It's been ignored, but we know it's in a major mining di district. And that's where many of our targets are generated in those rich parts of the planet, um, the Golden Mile in WA, um, the Archean systems in Western Australia, where we know they've hosted historically some of the best mines in the world. Um, but now we've extended that by using prediction across those areas. And I understand that you've had some a number of top early adopters uh, come on as clients and that they are happy with what they're seeing. Can you give us a bit of an insight in, into uh, you know, what some of the results and, and uh, processes that you've been uh, exploring with them? Yeah, well, one, of the, one of the first early adopters we worked with is DGO Gold with Ed Eshoes and um, uh, Chris Wilcox over there, they've, um, I guess, got a very advanced understanding of innovation and technology and have been a big supporter, obviously, of DeGray and um, some of the major discoveries in recent times in Western Australia. Um, we've had, I guess, three um, really good programs with them, Mount Magnet, Balagundi, um, and um, our Eagle Hawk um, projects up there. Uh, and Maynard Stam as well, four, um, that have come back with good gold numbers um, based on where the target said we should be doing. So um, it's, the system is doing the right thing. It's getting us into highly valuable mineral systems and targets for gold. Uh, we've also had a long-standing partnership with BHP. BHP is one of our shareholders. We've been doing nickel targeting with them in the last couple of years. Um, that is going into the next stage at the moment. Um, and uh, uh, they're uh, out looking at some of the targets that we've generated. We've also picked up Deutsche Rostov um, out of Germany. Uh, they are 
a um, prime, they have a, prime, a subsidiary called Prime Lithium and they're looking at lithium targeting with them. I think sensors that a really interesting period of time with some of the major thematics that are happening globally, not only the energy transition, um, but countries like Europe looking at where their critical minerals are coming from, where their supply chains are at, um, and the, we're able to be able to look at uh, data rich environments, historical mining countries, and extend the area of exploration uh, with some pretty exciting new targets. And you're also uh, using this technology yourself, as I understand. But definitely. I mean, are we part of the technology is a big, huge capital investment in data. Uh, we are a big data sponge. We pick up geology, geophysics, geochemistry. We've got software and algorithms that crawl and extract that information wherever we're operating. Uh, but together with collaboration with others is where um, the most advantages from AI can be liberated. We have more targets than we can operate ourselves. So we cooperate with, with companies with big land holdings to be able to extract value through equity, through royalties, et cetera, from those programs. But sometimes we just see gems in the data and we can't resist. Um, we have to pick it up. We have to um, explore it. We have to put uh, our own drilling program on it. We have a big team of geologists who um, love to be able to get out on the rigs and be able to see what we're doing and be able to feed that technology back, the information we gather back into our system. After all, AI is about learning, right? It's a, an innovator. It, it's going to get better. Um, the technology we have today um, is but a fraction of what it will be in six months' time, two years, three years. Um, people think we're going to replace geologists. I don't think that's the case. Um, geologists of the future are just going to be people who are data science savvy um, and there's going to be more jobs in Australia because we're opening up the field of play in areas and terrains that people haven't thought about before. And the word is out now. <laughs> people know that this is what's happening and it's having a positive impact on, on your share price. Yeah, I've been listed for about six weeks. Um, I've been out talking to people. I was in the US um, last couple of weeks. Uh, talking about the opportunities that are happening over there. Um, I think that the US is, uh, or North America, is much more awake to this trend. Um, they can see what's happening in fintech, medtech, all of the other techs there. Mine tech is, um, is the next place to go. Um, and we've been um, seeing a lot of appetite with what we're doing with our um, target generation, um, the deal flow that we've been putting together. Um, and there's a lot of excitement and buzz about um, uh, AI as a solution to the metals deficit, not only for Australia, but uh, for OECD countries, um, North America and Europe. Well, uh, for viewers uh, in the last minute or so that we have here, what's the number one thing that you want them to take away from this interview? Yeah, data is going to change exploration. Um, artificial intelligence is the way of the future and Sensor is a company that is at the forefront of that wave. Um, whatever we do, uh, whichever company um, succeeds in this race, um, Australian technology can match it with the best overseas. Um, we have the best data in the world for mining and exploration here in our home, in our home market. And it's a uh, market that can uh, easily expand beyond Australian borders. That it can uh, you can export this into the U.S. and other mining jurisdictions. Oh, definitely. I mean, already with Prime Lithium, we're exporting services to to Europe. Um, we've had a lot of interest from North American markets. Um, in uh, in the recent uh, visits that I've been there, uh, we're looking at a, a pre permanent presence um, in North America to be able to capitalise on that. Uh, uh, that appetite um, and you can hear, look forward to hearing good things about that in the future from us. Well, thank you very much and I hope that you will come back and give us more of that news in the future. Thank you for your time today. A pleasure, Stuart. Look forward to next time.